Hello and welcome back to another Revit Architecture 2009 Fundamental. We're talking about uh, stairs with winders and in this case I'm going to exclude the railing and I'm also going to show you a little trick here of uh, how to finish off that stair at the top because Revit kind of doesn't really handle uh, the top of uh, stairs or that last riser very well so I've done something a little bit different so this is what we're going to create I'll just go to a shaded mode here I've I'm going to use a stair with a 7 and 7 8 maximum height and I've just added some materials in here for the effect and then we can go down here a little bit later and do a quick rendering of that so uh, back to my 3d view and I'm just going to start by clicking on here and deleting that stair. So I've got a level 1 and a level 2 and those are 10 feet apart. Okay, so I'll start the stair by going up to level 1. Okay, now I need to see where that top riser is because I'm going to start from there. So I'm going to right click on here, go to view properties, go down to my underlay and I'm going to underlay my second floor to my first floor. So I know where that edges. So I can start by going to basics and drawing stair, actually I should say modeling, and then stairs. Okay, I'm going to use riser and boundary. So I'll start with riser and then I'll draw the boundaries. The first thing I want to do is just go into my railings and say no railing. Okay, I'll go to my stair properties and I'm going to go from level 1 up to level 2 which is fine. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into edit and I'm going to go down here and we're going to notice the height of the maximum riser and also with risers end with riser normally this is on by default turn this off that's going to help us at the top okay and we're going to short change ourselves by one riser and it's going to work out well in the end so take this off okay other than that I've just added in some materials up in this area over here for the effect okay so hit OK and OK and now I can start by drawing a riser so I'll draw a riser here and I'll just go you know six feet over and then I'll hit escape and then I'll offset that by 11 inches so I'm gonna go and and you're gonna watch see as you zoom out it's gonna say one riser created and so many remaining okay so I'm gonna go down here zoom out a little bit to get that okay and that looks good okay now I'm going to um, draw another riser and I'm gonna start it you know this is where my winder is going to be in here with the corner so I don't want this to be right at intersection I want it to be kind of over here somewhere and you can use some reference planes or do whatever you want six feet enter escape and then I can go back and say offset by 11 inches bank how many remaining nine eight you can see it's counting down okay and four I want to get down to three okay and now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna draw a boundary line boundary line from here to there boundary line from here to there boundary line from here to there boundary line from here oops didn't mean to create that hit escape get rid of that guy okay so there's my boundary lines and now I'll draw another boundary line going from here down to here over to there okay and I'll do another little boundary line that goes in here to there so these are individual components okay and it says I need three remaining so I'm gonna say riser and I'm gonna draw another one that goes say from here to the midpoint of there and I'll draw another one that goes from here to the midpoint of there escape escape okay so it says 16 created one remaining and that's what I want because I'm I'm kind of playing a little trick on Revit by saying I'm short changing myself by one but I'm also um, telling it to not to stop with a riser so that'll work for me in the end you'll see that okay and I want no railing I'm gonna have a look in my 3d view there it is shift middle mouse button and finish the sketch and it's going to give me an error actual number of risers is different from desired number of risers that's fine that's just a warning click out and because I started at the top it assumes I'm going up so all I need to do now is flip that around I can go to my level one click on here and go flip now it's going the other way go to my 3d view and there's my stair and you'll notice that look at how it's finishing okay the stair is finishing right where I want it at the top 
not with a riser okay which is perfect now I can go back down to my level one I can go in here and add a component I'll add uh, Cynthia in here click on here and maybe rotate that around looking at the camera and nudge it over and then I'll go to a south elevation and I'll go like this oh I don't want Cynthia I want Florence and then I'll just take that shift nudge 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 that up to there go to my 3d view okay and there she is there I could probably raise that up a little bit by going in and changing you know these numbers etc inside of here and then I can go to a 3d view which is camera view here and then from there I can just go in here and hit render render dialog box I'm going to render to medium okay I'm going to go exterior sun and artificial lighting just in case you have a lamp or something top right I always go very cloudy just for the effect and then you hit render okay I'm gonna let you do that and then we'll come back and we'll see what that renders out like and there's our rendering at medium detail okay and I didn't want to take too long with that but um, so that's that and then you can take that rendered view which is over here and you can take that and put it on a sheet or do whatever you want with it so there's a quick way of creating um, a stair with um, a winder and the last little tweak that you might want to do is uh, put a little split in this um, boundary line to get a little different effect on uh, this um, stringer on the side here so just as a an additional tip what we can do is click on the stair go back into edit and then probably from my level one if I go in and form a split here you'll get a little different effect and it depends on where the split is I'm gonna split this green line I can split it just to the right of the riser just to the left of the riser or right at the riser and each one of these splits will get a different effect boom I'm gonna split that one right there I'm gonna do the same thing to this guy split okay escape escape now this is a different segment from that and you might want to make sure that these two guys are the same way okay just a tip there splitting that at the riser as you go around and under different conditions this still is missing one stair technically so finish the sketch it's gonna it might even give me a warning but he, he, you can just ignore that warning and then you can go to the 3d view and you can see you get a little different effect here on your uh, riser so another little tip for you and that's it for now